So hello everyone, it's Jeremy here. I'm going to talk to you about Army Physical Fitness Test at APFT. Now, first off, if, you, if you're if you very familiar with fitness and going to the gym, you always see that that one person might be male, might be female, but a lot of times it's a, a guy with bigger upper torso, you know, he looks pretty stacked. But then you look at his legs and he's got bird legs, little twigs down there. Now, his overall fitness, yeah, he, he could probably bench a lot, but he probably can't run or bike. Now, that's what we're going to get into when we're talking about the Army Physical Fitness Test and measuring your overall physical fitness. Now, why, why is it conducted? And I'll be using references Army Regulation 350-1, Field Manual 7-22, and the DA Form 705 as well as referencing my experience at the United States Army Drill Sergeant Academy. Now, it's conducted not only to measure an, a soldier's upper and lower body muscular endurance, but to also assess the PRT, or physical readiness training, within the unit. Now, the commander is the overall person in charge of the PRT. And every six months, you are legally required to conduct an APFT. Now, the Army relates fitness to readiness, whether it be, you know, readiness including medical reasons, equipment, uh, property, you know, legal issues, whatever it may be. They all encompass that readiness umbrella. <clears throat> now, how is it conducted? Now, once again, we're talking about AR 350-1. FM 7-22 and DA Form 705. Now, in accordance with AR 350-1, soldiers must attain a score of at least 60 points in each event, or an overall 180. Now, basic training or initial mil military training (IMT) it used to be 50 points in each event to graduate basic training, but now they have progressed to holding them to the Army standard of. 60 in each event. Now I know 60 in each event sounds like a really low score. It sounds like an F when you talk about report cards, but it's actually not as easy as you think for some people. Now you you can only get 100 points in each event. I don't care if you run like the wind, you, you will not get more than 100 on the two mile run, 100 on the push ups, and 100 on the sit ups. A minimum of four soldiers are required to administer APFT, an OIC or NCO IC, an event supervisor, an event score, and support personnel. Support personnel being whatever extra personnel you have around. Now, um, we do, as far as drill sergeants, we do 15 soldiers to one score, that one score being a drill sergeant or an NCO within the company. Now that's roughly about 16 to 18 scorers if we are given, you know, a, a fill of soldiers of about 240. What are the events? The events for the Army Physical Fitness Test, the APFT, according to FM 7-22, are the push-up, the sit-up, and the two-mile run. Now keep in mind, due to, due to medical limitations, soldiers may not physically be capable of doing a two mile run. So the Army has developed alternate events to still test their endurance without hindering them medically. Now you have the 800 meter swim, you have the 6.2 mile stationary ergometer bike, and the 6.2 bike as if you were out riding on the road with a bike and you have the two and a half mile walk. Now me personally I I refuse to do the two and a half mile walk. It's painful. I've heard the stories. Uh, my profile right now, I have a permanent profile. Um, it's up I, I will be doing the ergometer stationary bike and it is not easy either but I'll take it over that two and a half mile walk. Now, before any soldier partakes in the APFT, 
within a 24, 24 hour period. They are to be briefed on the standards for each event, what is expected of them, what's the grading criteria, and where they will be for the grading. Everything will be demonstrated, each exercise, there's actual blocks of instruction you read out of the manual that will tell you everything you need to know about the exercise. Now at the Drill Sergeant Academy, we had modules that we had to pitch and we also got graded on conducting our own APFT with our fellow peers. In the drill sergeant module, it breaks down everything as you would see it in the regulations and the manuals. Each exercise, rest position, what terminates the rest position, or not the rest position, but the event. Now on the push-up, the biggest thing is just keeping your body in a generally straight line. Hands are shoulder width apart, feet up to 10 inches apart, and lowering your body as a single unit and coming back up, fully extending your arms. Now, you get two minutes to do the push up, you get two minutes to do the sit up, and then uh, depending on what your age is, you or if you have a profile, like I said, there's charts out of uh, FM 7-22 that will depict how much time you're allotted for the two and a half mile walk and for the two mile run. Now like I said you have two minutes to push up. We, we talked briefly about what the correct positions are. Um, the sit up, biggest thing is keep your feet. You have your feet together or up to 10 inches apart. Your heels will remain in contact with the ground. All right, Your knees will be point bent 45 degrees and you will only be pivoting at the hips all right when you go down the bottom of your short blades must touch the ground your hands must remain your fingers interlock behind your head you come up base the next parallel with base the spine all right to the run don't have to explain that the walk i don't have to explain that but talking about everything we've encompassed you can see how Physical fitness is a big part of completing the mission and while it is, why it is effective to see where you're at and see what you need to improve on to get your soldiers physically capable of completing the mission. That concludes my speech. Thank you for your time.